Hello. All right, it's 8.41, I have returned. And we. I didn't change the title, what a plonker. Hold up. Whoops. There we go. 90 wins is the minimum. If I get to 90, I'm probably going to go for 100. I mean, eh. You know, you know me. I see shit in sight. I can't want to go for it. What's up, child? Okay, so. The plan is grapple like fuck, full mount smash, because stamina I don't care about. Um, as long as it's not a jiu-jitsu player. Shit, even Hendo. In fact, especially Hendo. And Chael, for some reason, has demonic levels of chin. Let's go! Let's do this! Let us see here. Great if, uh, if I can finish it before the fights. Let's see. Uh, Coming up next, it's a okay, I haven't pulled Vita on a bar. Yo yo, what's up, sandwich? We have to smash. We have to smash. Our tale of the day is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Yeah. Now, five rounds for the UFC. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six yeah, I know. tall. Thank you. Weighing in at 100. Uh, now, it's it's absolutely takedown. And that's the way I go. As long as I can avoid submissions, I have to get the full mount. I have to get the full mount. There's no points. I mean, I'll take one flying near him. There you go. That's it. Everyone. Okay, forget it. Full mount. Yeah, he seems to be on a completely different plane from everybody else. He's facing a very strong there we go. tonight, but the odds makers Hopefully not. have him as a distant There we go. Favorite. He's got the hooks in. There we go. Try to flatten out his I kind of want to let him go back to full mount. Let's see. Ah. Uh, way to get out of trouble. Just go out the back door. Those shots to the body are vicious. Come on. Come on. Trying to get the take down. He's got the clinch. Fuck it. Put him against the cage. Put him against the cage. Stopped. Damn you. Okay, fine. He's gonna hit me hard there. Oh my god, that is so weak. Joe, the crowd favorite, the Phenom. Get him at least. Ah, oh, okay. Calm, 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 we're calm. Maybe I should just... Yeah, no. I may have screwed the pooch on this one. Fuck. Go on, throw, 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 throw. There you go. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. I needed that. Moves into full mount here. You've got better position. Bounces here. That's what I needed. He is taking some brutal ground and pound here. Yeah, we gassed. It's okay. He's got his back. Just over go a on. minute remains. Go the other way. Go on. Go on. Go on. Transition. Transition. There we go. Controlling the top position. Under a minute remains. Set up perfectly, and he slides out the back door. 45 seconds remain. Chill. 45 seconds, I might wait actually. Wait up, there you go. 
Just we landed some damage from Mount. Yeah, both these guys are very well rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. Come on. Come on. Are you paying attention to me? Don't vary from the game plan. Gotta get him down. Right, throwing that Superman punch, we don't need that. <laughs> I want fours and fives with the punch. Okay, Just gotta get him down. Some way to get the half guard or something. We start round two. Let's this fight. fight's scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Step the outside. Keep control. Come on, throw, 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 throw. Throw, throw, throw. There you go. Throw, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Oh, yeah, son. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Oh, he's got a triangle. Trying to remain patient. Well, it was a decent idea. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Half guard. Into his guard. Get your feet on his head. What? Oh, he gets reversed. Grove is cut open here, Mike. In the half guard. And back to full guard. Okay. We're in trouble here. I may have to resort to throwing shots. What are you doing? Fucking... Get him down. There you go. Oh, I don't know. Passes. Moves into half guard. Good transition. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. What are you doing, man? Oh. Just over a minute remains. Dumbass. Oh, nice knee. Wow. Shoot, man. Why don't you fucking... Shoot, you bunker. Three rounds to go in this UFC title. I'm dropping rounds here. I'm not sure what the game plan was in that round. It seems like they were still in the feeling out process. A good mix of stand-up and ground game, but nothing for the highlight reel. <clears throat> hey, look it. All right. I have to take him down. And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Fuck it. I'll fly in. Body shot. Dude, look at the fucking stat. How is he not out of stamina yet? Like, he has to be out of... I mean, I'm out of stamina, too, but still. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Vito, you roided old cunt. Under three minutes now. Nice counter right, he's down. He dives in and delivers a huge shot. Pushes him off with the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, to the midsection. Oh, my God. One six. 
What the fuck? Head kick, head kick, head kick, head kick. Throw, 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 throw. Gas, gas, gas. Under two minutes remains. Take your time, nice and relax. They clinch again. Side control again. Oh, uh, that's a huge elbow. He's in the full guard here. And he lets him back up. 45 seconds remains. Nice head kick. 30 seconds remain. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Body shot, and that signifies the end of round three. Oh, <sighs> fuck! How do I beat TRT Tor? These two aren't putting together anything on the feet. Keep that range. A lot more range. Oh, fuck! Right, grappling. That's it, it's grappling for the end here. All right, prepare for this to be over, and we might we're gonna have to do it again. Keep working, letting him go. I refuse to not grapple. Three rounds in the books. Round four is underway. He's got his back here. Keep his hands facing away. Work off, get back there. Keep angling, keep angling. He's got his back here. Right. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Good body shot. Go on. Shrugs him off again. Under three minutes now. Over the top of that big right. He's got his back. Oh my god. Oh, body shot. I'm so dead. Like, absolutely, completely dead. Oh, and punishing the midsection. He's got his back here. Th oh, my God. Kendall, you weak piece of shit, man. I can't, bro. I have no stamina. Good takedown defense. Forty-five seconds remains. Big right hand. Body shot. Trying to punish the midsection. They have worked into the deep waters. Four rounds complete. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. In this UFC title fight. I'm not sure why they both decided to keep it standing in that round. Neither I can't. I, I, I just, I... Oh, well, now we'll see who's able to make the necessary adjustments and take control here in the fifth round. Well, fuck it. I'm going to flying near him. I'm not losing the decision. I refuse. Fuck it. We go out on our shield. Go on our shield. I'm preparing to lose. I'm preparing to lose. It's okay. We'll have to start again. It's all good. We are set for the fifth and final round of this UFC title fight. You won't come forward. Stick 
Jesus Christ. He's got his back here. Break that grip open. Stay busy. Wide race. Wide race. Let's go. Suck him. He's got his back. Relentless takedowns here. He's got, He's got the, back. the back. He's got both hooks in. Trying to flatten out his opponent. Moves in full mount. Awesome control from the top. Come down with a good one. Postured up. Shots from the top here. Vicious ground and pound. Yep. Hold his head down. Ready to move. Control that posture. Pressure. Pressure. He's got both hooks again. There he goes. Back Joe to mount again. Oh! Just over a minute remains. Got the hooks again. He's going to try to flatten out his opponent and choke him out and finish this fight. Now able to posture up. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Posture's up. Now he's going to look to finish. He drops back for a toe hold. Man, that leg is jacked up right now. That is it. Totally escapes. Very nice. Good defense. GG He won GG yeah. It was a bad It was bad anyway. It's all good Come on. Let me guess 50-44 Bruce Buffer has the decision Ladies and gentlemen after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 49, 46, yep. 49, yep. 46, and 49, yep. 46. Declaring La Gagnon and the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the new... Fuck UM, I don't care about that anymore. Not for now. UM is done for, for however long it needs to be, I don't care. So maybe next, maybe, maybe this weekend, I don't know. I don't, I'm not doing UM at all, I don't care. Anyway, I'm gonna Everyone's injured, there you go. Coming up next, it's a middleweight time. Ugh. is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a mixed martial And now, introduced, and when the action begins, our referee... Oh, that's partially why I... Uh, I no, me, I came up with it. I decided to do it.
And here we go. Joe, how do you approach this fight? Oh, oh, oh huge suplex. He's got the arm triangle. Partially why it annoys me so much is that it, I spend so I, I take breaks, which is fine when I'm winning, but when I'm not winning, it's so much time wasted. I fully admit this is fucking stupid, but I don't care. It's doable, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, the first 10 fights are easy as piss. Oh, it's exactly time wasted, but I ain't got anything else to do anyway, so... The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest. I can nobody try this. It's completely stupid. It's a waste of time. Declaring La Gagnon and the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the UFC middleweight. No problem, man. Honestly, the loading times are part of the issue as well. Hey, think of it this way, when UM finally does come back, it'll be even better. Because it, it wouldn't have been there for a while. So there is there is a there is a plus side to not having for a little while. Coming up next, it's a middleweight title. God damn it, man. Look how long it takes to get into a fight. Get your edge. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now I'll get I yo, I can't be asked with doing every 20 anymore. Whatever the fuck. I I've been there. I'm just gonna get to like 50, 60, and then I'll do it tomorrow. I can't be bothered. I really can't bother doing this in segments anymore because it just takes so long. It's very annoying when I lose. It's too much time wasted. He's pressing down with his weight. I was fucking stupid against Vitor, man. I should have just gone for it. I fucked. I just couldn't get to Matt. I didn't have the stamina. It was the head health that fucked me as well. I really wish I didn't have to keep updating this defense count on the first 10 fights because they go so quickly, but whatever. Yeah, Chael was a problem. Oh, fuck, man. The fights are on tonight. Ah! Oh, I'm... I'm not annoyed that they're on, but I kind of am because I want more time for this, man. Fucking hell. Fine, I've got three hours of this anyway. That'll get me... Let's say it'll get me about 40 wins. Oh, man. Man, man, man. It's fuck all to talk about in the first ten fights because nothing fucking happens. It's the same shit. Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between all... Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffett. Yeah. Me, I came up with it. Yeah, they are much faster on 360, but I don't want to do it on the 360. I'd rather do it on the PS3 or I don't know. I just... 
I prefer the feel of the PS3 controller anyway. It's just the loading times. And we are underway. Joe, how do you see this play? Oh, wow, the power of the take. Looking for the Literally three things. It's so easy for the first ten fights. He's pressing down with his weight. Do you know what? I've just decided I'm gonna i I'm gonna fuck everybody from out. I don't care. Why not? It's the easiest way. Beat the piss out of them from full mount. After after ten fights, beat everyone from full mount, win. L lose no head health. That's literally the best way. Don't know why I didn't bother with that before. Do you know what? Kendall's takedown is almost a, is almost a curse because you can't get instant takedowns. It just goes to back now. No, but it'll work on most people. I'll see you get to that four. We don't know who's talking in the background. Nobody's talking in the background. What are you on about? You talking about the commentators? I like the commentators. Dude, I, I can't believe I fucked up. Dude, that run where I fucked up the loss of decision with Chael. That was it. That was it. I had no head damage. I had low stamina, whatever the fuck. That's so frustrating, man. So annoying. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. I would still rather do this than yes, McKessica. That was fucking stupid. This is fucking stupid. But hey, when do I ever do things the easy way? Something I should do more often. I'm, I'm an idiot and I make it hard for myself. So I really shouldn't know. What am I doing, man? He's the middleweight oh, champion with three successful defenses. I think he's getting used to five-round fights. Well, that's one of the advantages of being the champ, Mike. He has the experience in these grueling 25-minute fights, and it's one thing to train for them. It's totally another thing to grind through them. Get... Why are you defending everything? Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're... Uh, because I want to use Kendall Grove. He's the worst fighter. Well, he's... 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 He's basically 1A and 1B with the worst fighter. Which is easily... Well, it's him and Ross Pearson. Bob Sapp is too good to be considered in that category. This fight's just about over, Joe. Oh, he recovers. In the full mount. Postured up. Oh, that's a huge left hand. Oh, he's even hurt more. Oh, of course. Man, this crowd is loving it, Mike. What a fight. Again, some stamina. This is ugly, Mike. It's over. That is as vicious a display of ground and pound that you and I have seen in a long time. Hey, it'll be worth it when I win, though. Very, very nasty. What a performance. He defends the UFC. Well, we're almost at... Well, no, we're not. It's a 10, let's be honest. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring La Gagnon and the winner by TKO at...
Nah, it's not. This is it's the most tedious thing is either yes, McGuess or no. Get the world record on Grouch's by sport. That was that was fucking holy shit. Our tale of the tick is brought to you by UFC Store. This is number three on the most tedious things I've ever done. No, actually, no, it's about number six. Number five. Put Melga Solid 2 in there. Four was alright in terms of difficulty. Three was a little easier. Uh, four, well, one was pretty. I found that real difficult. It's up there, but it's not number one. Round one is underway. Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. He's coming in to defend his middleweight. Oh, he got the body lock. Oh, he's got an arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. Goes to the first ten fights easily here. Well, Metal Gear Solid up to three. On, well, three has a free a 3D camera if you have some systems, or you have the PS3 version. It can be tricky with the the lock camera if you haven't the fixed camera if you haven't played it before, haven't played a game like that before. And the controls a little unorthodox, but eventually you get used to them. They feel fine. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of the very first round. Declaring La Gagnon and the winner by tap out due to an arm truck. Yeah, what's on the card tonight? It is, yeah. And it ran at 60 FPS, Mega Solid 2. Three ran at 30, but that's because of the jungle. It still looked awesome, man. I really, I really love the atmosphere of those games. Like I've been meaning to play through it again now. Uh, one of these days, I might stream another playthrough of uh, two or three. I'm definitely not playing on a stream though. I can't be bothered. I already did it once. More than enough for me. I'll play it on hard. I like that. It's a good balance for me. Well, I think Anthony Smith's got a good shot. Uh, he's younger. He's probably a little bit faster. Uh, but Glover, man, he's got. I think he's got. I think Glover's got better striking, purely on technique. Uh, but also, Smith's got decent striking, and his grappling is pretty good. So it's Glover's. I, I, I love both guys. I'm going to go... I hope Glover wins, because he's older, I suppose. And I would love to see him win a belt, even though I, I really, really, really don't think... He might be able to beat, you know, San Santos or, or Blahovic. Reyes is going to be really fucking tricky. But if he can beat Reyes, I just don't know if he can, he's going to be able to get Jones. Because Jones is... Yeah, Reyes had a close heart with Jones, but MMA math doesn't exist. You know, it's... It's, it would be difficult to get Jones again, or to, to beat Jones, for both. especially being 10 years, well, being, being 40, 42, so that's the old, 41, no, he's 40, okay, I don't this man is a freestyle fighter, and now, introduced, and when the action begins, our record, Cork McGee, Kendall Grove, yeah. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall? Oh, Gus is he awesome. Got the body lock. Oh, he's got an arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. Yo, at least these are quick. Ah. I got Lumbago, John. It in Mike gets all of his weight pressed down against that arm, locking the neck on one side and his own arm on the other, cutting off the blood. The veteran voice of the octagon. I don't think so. Has the official. I don't think it'd be able to submit. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Loving has called a stop to this That's the seed. at 28 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm. Dude, Glover's Jiu-Jitsu is really fucking good. I don't think he's going to be able to submit Glover. I don't know. That's just me, then.
up next. It's a middleweight title fight. Oh look, younger Chuck. Yeah, it could be, could be, yeah. I'm excited though. It's gonna be a good one. The take is brought to you by Dodge. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now this man is a kick. And now introducing the. And when the action begins, our referee. You ready, sir? You ready? Chuck Liddell, Kendall Grove. At least the first ten you can speed through, which is nice. And here we Fight. go, Joe. How do you see this playing out for the? Oh, beautiful takedown. He's got the arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. There you go. And oh, nice. The tap, the victory. Oh, I kind of want to set this defense down to 10, but I, I wish I could put like almost 10. Or soon to be 10. What a performance. He the Let's take a look at that again. See how he lost. Supposed to be seven. What the hell? With the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 30 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke. I like the presentation. It wouldn't make sense to do it anywhere else. Oh, MJ, huh? Hmm. I didn't look at this card. I, I, let's have a look. Let's see. Okay, it's not bad, actually. K. Sherman, E.K. Villanueva, Hunter Azur versus Brian Kelleher, Gabriel Benitez, Amar Morales. To draw you back, take it on Sarah Morris. That's a good fight. It's a prelim card. The main card. Carl Robinson Vittorio just cancelled. Michael Johnson versus Thiago Moises. Uh, Andre Arlovsky versus Felipe Linz. Ricky Simone versus Ray Ball. That's a good one. Alexander Hernandez taking on Drew Dober. And uh, in the third main event, Bob Rothwell going up against Over St. Peru. Debuting at heavyweight. And the main event, Anthony Smith, Glover to zero. I like. I like me some MJ, but man, he's inconsistent. He's a bit like Kevin Lee, actually. He he can be great, but like it's very rare where he does shine. And I don't know. He's just I don't know. He's he's he is definitely not as good as he used to be, though. Or at least he's on some sort of low point. One of the superstars of the sport, he's been the middleweight I want champion Ray Ball to win. Oh, incredible right. seven title defenses. Oh, beautiful souple. He's got the arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. How slow they move! It's glorious. It is over. It is all over. Submission because he makes insane money every fight, and I don't blame him. Also, he has only been knocked out twice in his last eight, six fights, or something. Eight fights. The last, the, the last two people to knock him out was Jarzinho and um, what's his face? Higani. Oh wait, sorry, Francis Gano. Good old Goldie. And I swear, Joe called him Engano. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Loving has called a stop to this contest at 46 seconds. They called him like three different names at some point early on. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arc. Another name that's quite tricky is uh, Kennedy Z Z uh, Zuchuku. I think it's Zuchuku. Let's see. I can't even spell his fucking name. 
Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna. We're gonna. There you go. It's a Chuku, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Myosic. Shit, they just call them fucking nicknames now, like Stamp Fairtex. Are you kidding me? First of all, Fairtex is a bloody um, apparel brand. Although, of course, probably based off a Thai name. And Stamp is a nickname, so. Yeah, they really. Sh no, 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 no. Best idea. They should call some. They should. Someone should have the last name Stamp, and their nickname should be Ink. Ink Stamp. Greatest fighter alive. Greatest Tie fighter ever. Ink Stamp. They don't bleed. They. They shoot ink. Like squids. Ah, okay, fair enough. Super Chai Tan Sam Chanam. Or Tan Sam. Our tale of the day is brought to you by Tap Out. Well, I mean, every name in the world is different, isn't it? Every, you know, every country has different language customs. Ah, okay, fair enough. That makes sense. And now, this man is a mix. And now, introduce it. And when the action begins, our referee. Akihiro Gono. Kendall Grove. And we are underway. Joe, what are your thoughts on Oh He got the body lock. Maybe because the gyms are a little easier as well, I don't understand. What else? He's pressing down with his weight. That's oh, nice. The tap, the victory. Arm triangle. I saw that was ten. No, it's eight. Okay. What a performance! He defends. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, unless he gets some crazy money fight, I think so. He's not it all, man. Olympic uh, dude. Oh my god, his his coach got the great nickname. Man. Um, is EA still the worst company? Uh, no. Um, his coach on embedded said, but, um, if he was to win the Olympics again." They call him C4, and that is badass. That's, I mean, that's up there with Semtex, which is also an all amazing nickname. I love that. I was gonna say awesome and amazing, but it came out as amazing. Amazing. I would play a podcast in the background, but it'll probably get content idea, which is fine. Yeah, again, I lost. I lost to fucking Vitor, steroid Vitor. And to all of him, are ster he's always steroids, but pride Vitor got me. I had no stamina. I'm going to start smashing people from full mount. I, I cannot be bothered anymore with, with losing stamina, losing head health. I'm going to lose stamina, whatever. But losing the head health? Fuck that. If I can get to 70 without taking a ton of damage, at least then, at least I can work the striking. But dude, Chael fucked me up. He took everything. Coming up next, it's a middleweight. Our tale of the day is brought to you by Zenergy. Powered by Hold on a minute. The official energy drink. Hold on. UFC. I swear there was a way to skip the intros in the uh, menu. Nah, but I kind of like having the intros up now. I feel like for the last fight I should play them. But you know what, if there's a way to skip them from here, I think they're a little bit sure. I'm going to turn them off until I get like 99 fights in. Let's see. Ah. God damn it. Amateur control. <laughs> Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon? Oh, beautiful suple. Looking for an arm triangle. How come I call it a suple there? But the only, it's the only time he calls it a suple, I'm pretty sure. He's pressing down with his weight. Submit him. It is all over. Submission victory. Arm triangle. Oh. 
Ten down. Ninety to go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man! He defends the UFC middleweight title. Don't save. Oh, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? There we go. Aha! I have fixed the brokenness. There you go. Oh, hold on. There you go. Get fucked, counter. You can't beat me. You can't kill me! Good old Woods. Frank Woods. Did you guys see the Unreal Engine 5 de tech demo? It was running on PS5. Looked ridiculously good. 4040p uh, up sampled or, or sampled. they use some sort of uh, hold on. let me see if I get this right let me see let me just make sure I got hold on temporal injection that's it it's uh, from 44p to get the 4k dude the, the, I, I watched Digital Foundry's breakdown they got like um it's got this system, Nitrate or something, uh, along with Lumens, which is like a global illumination thing that you can you can actually mess around with the light and move it, like, um, basically on a slider. Like, you, you don't have to, you have to pre-bake lighting conditions to get, well, I mean, you might want it, but uh, basically you can get really good looking lighting without having, okay, that's a different part. That's probably part of the uh, power, but... Um, um, let me get this right. Hold on. The lumens thing, you can basically adjust the global illumination in real time. So I guess it means you don't, you have to spend less time uh, making preset uh, lighting um, or just seeing you know, just seeing how it is. So you just do it on the fly. And the little uh, nitrate is it nitrate? I think I'm not sure, but it's this thing. It's the system where you get. Um, uh, like there's one poly one polygon per frame, one milli polygon, mini I think it's a mini polygon per frame, or oh, per pixel rather, per pixel. Sorry. So it looks like the geometry is crazy detailed on the small stuff, and you can apparently take like assets from the Unreal Engine uh, not storefront, but you know what I mean, like tons of assets you can put straight in without. Yeah, it it gets rid of the need for making tons of lods. Apparently, it's awesome, man. I think I think I I think yeah. There'll always be improvements. I think th with more power, I think what happens is the biggest improvements from here on out is not graphics because we have we have hit a, 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 a we've hit something of graphics where they just look crazy good. I think the next leap is going to be the, even the next generation of CPUs where you could you know have tons of physics going on, tons of AI. Although these Zen 2 uh, chips are amazing, so perhaps we'll see some of that. Yeah, I mean, we, we, for, we will for sure, but I'm talking about, um, you know, crazy, crazy amounts of AI that you can't even do. Like, crazy amounts of AI and tons of physics calculations for, you know, cloth and all that. And lots of stuff in the world that you might not be able to do even on these cores, but we've yet to see No, I didn't start all over again. I lost to Vitor at 78. Run out of stamina. Yeah. Oh, he's got him dazed. Of course. He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped back pretty quickly. Joe the crowd. Oh, that right hand hurt him. You got a fucking cheek to survive that long, son. Joe, this place is going wild. After 10 fights, they get a bit better at it. There you go, it's over. I hope willingly restart. You never. What a Joe, once he went for that arm, he was not. Costume Kendall? What do you mean, costume Kendall? Yeah, beautiful technique. Here you see he's got the arm isolated. I'm using the roster version. I'm not using one for career. I've never done a career with growth. The eight year overall one. <laughs> Hopefully it gets ripped off. 
Amputate that shit. It's too powerful. The, veteran voice of the, octagon. the highest events I've got is 82. I got a 78 the last time. But I lost to Vitor. It was a pretty done run anyway. A lot of factors that weren't helping. Hey Alpha, you still plan on making that race compilation? If not, that's all well I'll mind. I'm just wondering. <sighs> cool. I can't wait to see it. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's it, it's tricky using Grove, but I want to use Grove. I want to make it difficult. I'm stupid like that. I thought I would have learned. Nah, it's all good, man. I don't mind. If you need help editing, then let me know. Like, if you need help or something, let me know. If you want me to make a thumbnail, let me know. Yeah, I, I might be able to get to 100 easier with a guy like, I don't know, someone high rated, but... It's tricky with Grove because he has no stamina. And the AI gets really good. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? I guess we'll find out. Does he still have what it takes to retain his belt? I've never beaten Tart Defense before, so. That's why I want to beat it so bad. Also, because I know, I mean, I know it's possible. As I've ever seen him, Mike, his training, his conditioning, he hasn't let all the success change. I made a very, 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 very short rage compilation in a second video I made. Uh, just where I talked about how I managed my anger. It was like a five second clip of some of the screams I had from when I lost him, when I died in Mega Solid 2. I was, I was, um, uh, discovered. I don't, I don't like to race like that, especially not anymore. But I, even I kind of laugh at it. I don't know, it's weird, when I watch some of it back, I do fly to laugh at it, sometimes. Oh, I can laugh at it quite a bit, I guess. I find the race just as funny as you guys do. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this. So what I'm going to do now? Uh, well, it's I have an entire series on the channel. There was quite a bit of rage in there. I'm going to get. I'm going to keep going until. I'm going to keep going until the fights come on. So, two and a half hours. And we'll see how far we get in that time. I think partly my play style was a problem in terms of difficulty. But I, I think I didn't, I didn't help the difficulty, and I, um, my play style for quite a while, especially. I don't know. I, was, ah, I, don't know. I, mean, I was still aggressive, but I guess I wasn't aggressive enough, and it, it screwed me quite a few times. Of this or of uh, of Sekra. Title. 
that you may cover. Yeah, that would. Uh, well, I mean, they'll they'll know that I I haven't beat it. They probably they probably just skip to the end, and that's that's fine. I don't mind. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Hell, I would probably skip to the end or skip through it anyway. But yeah, but bro, you don't understand. I had not much stamina, and I had absolutely no head health. I was trying not to get knocked out. I decided in the end, whatever, I should have just got to throw them. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the Octagon tonight? We've had the best seat in the house as we have watched this man evolve from talented rookie to champion to true MMA legend. Absolutely, Mike. He's put in the time and the hard work why he's made himself into the most dominant fighter this or any other weight division has ever seen. Take your time, nice and relaxed. Now he's fucking woken up. Combination. Both men exchanging. Eventually he'll die. I wanted to try and get him down because I wanted to save head health, but I really should have just gone striking from the beginning. Uh, it, there is no difficulty. Uh, well, there is, but it, you can't select it. Um, it starts easy and then it gets hard. It gets basically max difficulty about 40 fights in. Oh, big kick! Oh, good combination. See, I'm, I'm really I'm faffing around too much here. Oh, beautiful combination. He's hurt. But well, he got rocked, but man, he snapped back quick. Oh, flying knee. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Why, why, why is he doing this on only so, so little fights? And the crowd again. Oh, he's slapping on triangle. That's perfect position, Mike. He's got the arm across the neck. He's pulling tight. He's adjusting even tighter. Yeah, that's a terrible nice. fucking good attempt. Why is he... What the fuck? Why is he so Use good all of a sudden? Off. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, big shots. Okay. 30 seconds remains in the round. There you go. Oh, he got hurt. He's down. He ate that one. Fuck off, Anderson. Bro, I should have owned him already. This is this is a waste of time. God damn it. Mike, an easy round to score, but you never know with these judges. Which spider though? There's two, there's, there's two of them in the cage. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. And here we're seeing that unbelievable shot that... You don't get the takedown, you're going back to... Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Time wasted. I don't need to... It's just... We start round what a finish it. This fight's scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Nice right Fuck in. off. That's a huge left hand. Oh, and that one drops him. Nice right hand. He's getting jacked here. He's in big trouble. Blimey, okay. Fine, I guess. Great ground and pound in the finish. 13. Yeah, I lost the 78. Vitor got me. So back to the beginning we go. Official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll get it eventually. Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 37 seconds of the second round. I spent way too long getting him out of there. I do not wish to do that again.
Oh, I want to use Grove. I, I, I deliberately chose Grove. I could have chosen like someone high rate, but I wanted to choose Grove. I guess I just wanted to make it more difficult. Because it's already difficult, so the way I think is you might as well make it more difficult. Because if you go through it, it's going to be 100 anyway. It's going to take a lot of time. And it could have been more difficult, and it's like... I don't want to be feeling like I could have made... I, I don't ever want to feel like I could have made it more difficult. And that, because I didn't. The time I spent was was not wasted, but it... I don't know. Just, it could have been harder, and I don't like feeling like that. So I stick everything on the hardest difficulty. Get completely thrashed. And then... Uh, by slowly smashing my head against the wall, eventually beat it. Yeah, I'll get it eventually. And here we on, go. Joe, how do you see this playing out for the champion? This crowd is showing their love for him. No, they're not, but okay. All these countless championship title defenses. He's arguably the most popular fighter the UFC has ever seen. What the fuck? I absolutely agree with that, Mike. This Hold guy on. is becoming bigger than the sport itself. Wait, why am I not implementing my strategy? What the fuck? Got the double Get him bus. down. That's a waste. Grove is fatigued. He's isolating an arm. He's got a Kabor. Oh my god. Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out of this. I guess trying to finish him there. Oh, nice again. body shots. Working hard to there try to get out of this bad spot. Oh, another one. And oh, again. Big one. Of all people, Michael Bisping like Kabor. Could you imagine? No, ref! Oh my god, Herb! Herb, son, come on, man. He's got to be Herb. See, I actually don't like fighting against this AI because I'm not a... I'm, I'm really not used to their timing. He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped back pretty quickly. They're almost not as gameable. Yeah, I did, yeah. The crowd showing their support from Wow. He is just away. Good use of distance. I lost at 78. Just over a minute remains. Oh, to the midsection. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Oh, come on. Really, I'm spending too much time trying to hit Bisping here. Oh, he That's a good man, I don't mind. I'll beat it eventually. It bugged me a little bit when I was there. But... It was way worse when I lost the first time. Yeah, uh, I don't understand how... Chael didn't take any damage. Well, he did, but I don't know how to fucking survive so much. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep playing until about 11-ish when the fights come on. So it's uh, 9.46 right now. However, however far I get is however far I get. Oh, I kind of want to see the stamina regeneration here. I've got to fight more efficient ways to win because this AI is not that hard. I just... find ways to get him. Look at that. 44. 40% stamina regeneration. God, I'd kill for that later on. But... Daniel Ricardo closing in on 22 on my current seat. Okay. I'm, I'm a hard F1 fan and a McLaren fan. Oh my god. Renault's talking with Alonso. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, this is wild.
silly season is underway, and as the person said, there's not even any race, not even any races. Okay, cool. Okay. An expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a freestyle. And now, introduced. And when the action begins, our ref. Are you ready to fight? Court McGee. Okay, let's You're smash the roll. fuck out of him. And wait. Are underway. Joe, how do you approach this fight? If oh, yeah. Oh, the power huh. of the takedown there. That's why. Okay, moves into the mount here. Breathe them out right now. Breathe them out. Look your position, bro. Well, why do I why do I wait on their guard when it's not open? That's so stupid, but I just assume they're gonna open it eventually. There you go. Oh. Ground and pound from the top. Well, he got rocked, but man, he snapped back quick. Okay, some stamina. Okay, those elbows seem he's to be rocked. better. Oh, he is all over him here. He can't take much of this. Oh, he's in trouble. Fine. Oh, it's over. Just hold on. Goodbye, court. That's what I need to do. Yeah, I am absolutely using those elbows now. Oh, he recovers. There you go. Never mind. Come on, man, die. Okay, let, let's wait for the stamina to recover. Control of his opponent's posture, not giving him any space to work. Dude, let me up. What? Good job, hip escaping. There he goes. Back to mount, mount again. Mixing things up nicely. Boom. Or die. Big right hand. What the fuck? Rope is fatigued here. What does it take to kill Court McGee? A machine gun, it seems. There you go. That's it. That's it. It is all over. Now that is what you call ground and pound. Scored is a knockout. What a performance. He defends the UFC middleweight title. Let's look at it again. Look at all the power he gets in this. <laughs> Okay. Well, look, we're at 15. That's all right. That's fine. Here's That's with the official decision. For someone. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC middleweight champion. All right, we're basically at hundred percent.
No, not harder, just uh, longer. Longer in the it may not take me quite as long to actually complete in terms of how many streams. But it is longer in terms of it's a hundred fights I have to win in a row and not like nine. Well seven or eight at best. I think it took me ten or nine or so. The DS I guess. Maybe less, I'm not sure. It's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove. Kendall Grove set to enter the our tale of the tape is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds. This man is a mixed mark. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. And when the action begins, our gentlemen, Mark Munoz, ready? Kendall Grove. And here we go. Joe, give us your okay. thoughts on the champion. After being, oh, he got the body lock and he took him. I don't particularly him. care about what they think. There you go. Wow, wow, he's trying to punch back. Are you sure, my guy? I'd laugh if that can rock you. I would actually laugh if you get rocked from top man. Oh, okay, I see. I didn't know he had power shots. Interesting. Mark is a lot more active on the ground. God damn. Now able to posture up. Good ground and pound. Oh, big shot from the top. This fight is close to being over. Oh, he recovers. Okay, he's hurt though. He hurt him with oh, the it's over. Mic. He's got to get out of this position. He's taking a ton of damage. Blimey. Oh, but he recovers. This man could take a beating. Let's uh, curl up. Not curl up. You know. Hold here. Bro, he's still going at it. Oh, he connected with an elbow. There you go. All right, sixteen. Very nice. Performance. He defends the UF. I would not mind TKOs if you were legitimately sitting there eating punches for too long. Even if you were blocking. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still. Okay. Ah, oh, well. Hey, look, we're not far from 20. That was quick. Okay. Our tail of the 
take is brought to you by Dodge. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, what? this man is a mixed ball. And now, it should be. And when the action begins, our gentlemen. Ready? Mike Swick. Ready? Kendall Grove. Ah, oh, let us defeat Mr. Swick. Round one is Swick. underway. Joe, what are your oh, thoughts? I can still do this. Cool. He got the body That's a strategy for 20 fights. For Moves in a half guard here. Come on, there we go. To the full mount. Now able to posture up. Swick My God, out. look at a cut already. He ate that one. Oh, hold on, I got an idea. Elbow. I don't know how much damage they do. The hell, cut him. He can't take many more of these, Joe. Bloody and hell. Again, over and over again. I like that, though. Oh, that's a huge oh. He's, uh, he's hurt. Oh. Under three minutes now. Oh, man. That's awesome. I love that. So I don't use them very often, though. I probably should. Oh, he connected with an elbow. Oh. Yeah, I lost at 78. Trying to get to a dominant position, Joe. Dude, get rocks, will you? Fucking hell. Joey's got his back. Oh, big shot oh, the it's over. I'm going to wait a little bit. But he got rocked, but man, he snapped back quick. Yeah, some point it'll cut, it'll cut back. I don't know when. Oh, big elbow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big elbow. Oh, but he recovers. This crowd is going nuts. Oh. He's got the hooks in again. Fair enough. Again. In the half guard. Didn't want to go to full map, but hey. In the first round. Well, I just sort of joked around that everyone's injured. Of, is here. of course I'm tired. All right, guys, this Thank you. Yeah. Gonna stand him up. Let's see if it gets uh, a little faster toe to toe. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, my guess was harder. What a performance. He defends the UFC. And with the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. He Ladies just got hurt so much that Josh he had to go out. Has called a stop to this contest <laughs> at four minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC middleweight. percent there you go Mind smash. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the name. I, I, ha! Oh my god. This is ironic. Mind smash YouTube. This is, I just typed the name up. This is the, this is the small description that comes off his shout. How does a Muay Thai fighter win 100 fights consecutively? Funny. Uh, uh, that's what Kendall Grove is trying. Not that Grove is. I don't know. He's, he does have that kind of that, he does have that Thai style, I suppose. Coming up 
next, it's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove and Pride superstar Vanderlei Silva. Wow, he literally won his last fight by trying. Sweet. Attempt to capture the belt. Vanderlei is a very dangerous striker. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. We are now set for the official introductions. Yeah, I'm gonna watch UFC. Yeah. I'm just gonna stream till I get till it's eleven o'clock. And now <laughs> this man is a Muay Thai. And now. Introduced and when the action begins, our fellow ready Vanderlei Silva, ready. Kendall Grove. And here we Let's go. Play. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? I mean, can you believe the win streak this champion is on? You want to talk about MMA legends? You're looking at one right now. Yeah, he is unreal. It's been pretty surreal following his career and having the honor of calling his fights. It's going to be a while before we see another competitor in My MMA God. of his caliber. Oh, there we go. Suplex. Very nice. Moves into full mount here. Now able to posture up. Fuck. Shot. Big shot. He's rocked. Of course. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. No, I haven't, no. And the chance begin for Vanderlei Silva. I don't, I don't think it takes as much damage as a full elbow. It shouldn't, anyway. Oh, Try to hit... Dude, that's, what a savage Vanderlei is. Try to hit you from the bottom. Big elbow. Oh. He has got to improve this position because he's taking a ton of damage. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, he's got to get out of there. Hold on. And the crowd continues to rally behind Vanderlei Silva. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. There we go. Oh, now you can, yeah. Just that I don't know how it happened to me. Really opened. Oh, big shot from the top. Oh, but he recovers. Okay, let's get some stamina back here. Push kick. Oh, he's hurt. That one dropped him. Oh, he's back on his feet. Both guys staying in tight. There we go. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Left. Oh, that one dropped him. There you him. go. There you go. Dude, his eyes moved when I went for the elbow. Look. Line. I swear, like, he could see me from the depths. And here's the end of the fight, Mike. Clean elbow. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Yeah, that would be nice. He sent it back to shoot box, yeah. <laughs> In real life? Uh, this being a rock on, it has to be. In terms of pure enjoyment. Craziness. I think that, because it was unbelievable. Title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove 
and Jorge Rivera. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by yeah. Shape Gel. Yeah, and I'm thought baseball would win. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now this man is a boy. All right, Jorge. Introducing and when the I don't know. Begins, it depends. Sometimes uh, you get bright, more bright guys. Probably because these guys get to the top of the rankings. And here we go. Joe, how do you see this playing out for the champion? This kind of high pressure wow. situation. I'd laugh at that flash code. Just... Okay. Oh, beautiful left hook. He's rocked. Well, it looked like he was hurt, but Fuck playing around. Really he's throwing a leg up, looking for a triangle. The legs together, pulling on the back of the head, trying to finish this fight. It's okay. He's cheeky. Cheeky. Cheeky briggy. As uh, Life of Boris says. I believe it's Life of Boris anyway. What a performance. He defends the. And Joe, when you saw the force not only on the neck, but also just the way he was throwing his whole bit of body weight. No, he's in twin. No way he, wasn't he might be in 2010. I know he's in 2009. Drew McFedries. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Uh, 11 o'clock. Well, 11 or 11 30. Let me check. Ready to see what time I'm about to. Who can vote to watch me call it? Six, okay. The world. Kendall, the spider, Kendall Grove holds on to his UFC middleweight title. Put a phrase. Yeah, he's not in the game. He wasn't the UFC one, by the way, wasn't he? Isn't he like the top Cage Warriors heavyweight? Hey, what's up, Tavis? The Hitman! Should've got the tattoo on the back of his head. I'm all right, man. I lost a 78 fight win streak, but we back on the grind. I'm gonna keep going until 11. Probably get about 30 wins, maybe. Yeah, I thought so. I want Glover to win. I love both guys, though. As long as Glover doesn't get completely starched, Martin Cumberland. Martin's awesome. Martin Campman, Kendall Grove. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall? Oh, beautiful takedown. Half guard. Back to side control. That ain't worth it. And into full mount. Yeah, true. I like both though. I like too many of them that lie heavyweight. That's my problem. Holy shit, stop blocking, man. Yeah. Be a good fight. Nice. Good stuff, man. He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped back pretty quickly. Hey, if anyone's going to beat John Jones, I would love for it to be either Smith or Glover. Shit, JDS yes, would be nice Big as well. Elbow. This fight is close to being over. Oh, but he recovers. Ooh. 
Come on, get a rock. There you go. Oh, he recovers. Joe, this building is electric. What a classic match. Oh, my God. What a chin you've got, Mark. Trying to get to a dominant position, Joe. Under two minutes remains. Good shots. Total control from the top position. That's right, I didn't block that. Yeah, he said he wasn't prepared for the takedowns or something. Oh, but he recovers. Mm. Big right hit. Oh, it's over. over. It's all over. What an elbow to Reyes won that fight. One, two, three. Santos won two fights. Although that fight was close. I thought Reyes easily won the Jones fight. One, two, three. As in, not that it was a complete whitewash, but it was, I mean, it, it, I think it was quite clearly three rounds for Jones. Oh, to, to, to the Reyes, rather. Look at this. Well, Pete, see, you know, I, I don't think this Jones does bit and rematch thing is, 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 you know, completely, um, you know, be, be careful with that because you got to remember the second fight with Gustafson. Jo uh, uh, yeah, Jones need his groin, and he basically it really affected his movement. I don't know how a 100% Gus would have done against Jones in the rematch. So I, I don't know. For sure, he looked vicious. He looked like a savage. But still, there, there was a bit, for me. There's a bit of a a question mark over that fight. Bidos is great. Uh, Polaris is awesome, but he gasses. Um, this thing's good. Hmm. Vandalay. Now that's the thing. He said his movement was fucked, and I think it could have been a different. It could have been a different fight if he could move more. Yeah, that fight was, uh, I actually, I missed half of that. But credit to Smith for winning that. <laughs> Hedis is good, yeah. The thing with Gus is, man, I don't know. Those guys, where he trains, they, they spot hard. I don't know. It takes away from your longevity. The only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon. Harley Davidson. And now with the official introduction... Yeah, I don't think Smith showed what he was capable of. I don't think he would have beaten Jones. I don't know. Although these days, Jones does look a lot more beatable. Man, I hope Jones gets completely flatlined next time he fights. Or whoever, whenever he loses. Someone flatline him for his sins. He's been lucky. Todd Duffy's on Reddit, believe it or not. Israel can definitely win that on the feet, but I... I I think Jones would give give him real trouble in the grappling department. Oh, nice knee. Nice yeah, his knee. chin is fucking iron, which is a lie. Why do all the assholes have god chins? Or oh, stuff always goes their way. Greg Hardy, John Jones. True, Tony, yeah. But I, I'm not saying, yeah. Tony's an alright dude. But, I, but I, I wasn't saying only those guys are my team. I mean, it's funny how they seem to. Good 
Coach Jake seems like an asshole. Closing the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. And he's got the takedown. Able to posture up. He's in the guard. Joe, he's going to get back up to his feet. Look at how he's utilizing the cage effectively. Under 90 seconds. Gets the takedown. All he needed was a little bit of leverage, Joe. And this fight ends up on the ground again. Silva keeps getting tagged oh. on that cut. He is bleeding bad. Oh, I lost at 78 to Vito. Juiced Vito. I mean, all, all versions of Vito are juiced, but you know. Just about one minute well, except for Lake Ray Vito, but... I got, yeah, I had no stamina, had damage to the head against um, Pride Vitor. We're going into that fight. Lost the decision, 49-46. He caught the leg, he's down. I can't believe he got back to his feet, but he has hurt badly. Nice combination. Oh, damn it. The crowd is on its feet. Yeah. These two fighters kept it standing and they went to war, Joe. Le I think Usman's going to rag doll Masvidal. From both guys, Mike. That round there is why we love this sport so much. Throw more kicks. Yeah, I will, game. I will. You've got to stay on balance. You've got to keep moving forward. Well, I think, I don't know if that would have done his, I mean, if he got knocked out clean, which I thought Justin might have finished him, um, I think, I thought Justin was going to finish him, but I did not think. Like, if Justin finished him, then, like, easily, easier than, even some people who thought he was going to finish Justin, or finish Tony, would have, then maybe you could say the wake up. I don't know. Joe mixing up his strikes very well. I still think um, as many as it takes. He is getting battered. Yeah, uh, Tony's chip was crazy. I don't think the uh, the weight cut did was much of a much of a factor. He just got beat by the better fighter. That one wobbled him. Oh, he Ooh, nice head movement. And the crowd again. Chanting for the spider, Anderson Silva. I think Habib will win, but it's. Uh, I think Justin definitely. Um, he definitely has some. Uh, uh, oh, oh, punishing the mid the right he provides some interesting challenges. Three minutes remains in the second round. Inside leg kick. Both guys banging on the inside, Mike. I think Tony, I think Connor would have beaten aggressive Gaethje. Uh, patient Gaethje is a different question, though. I still think Connor could definitely crack him, but I think it would be a little more difficult. He's more defensively sound. Excuse me? What are you trying, Anderson? I think Murray can crack him early, but if he doesn't get him out of there quick, then I think... Uh... I think Gechi's going to get it done. Ninety seconds remains in the second. Because Gechi can get dropped, and Collar is a great finisher. This fighter really uses the butterfly guard. I think patient Gechi. Yes, he does. Mike. Is a harder fight for McGregor than aggressive Gechi. You know, early UFC fight Gechi, aka rest of career Gechi. His leg kicks are great, yeah. That is like getting hit by a truck. That is some serious power. And still. He throws it from super close range, too. Bends the UFC middleweight title. I loved it when Cruz walked out. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. He will, Dana said he will. So. The better voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Murgliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.
I love me some Chase Hooper, yeah. Look at the way my stamina is still coming back. That kid is good. He is. Yeah, 3025, 3024. Dude, like O'Malley, Askren and Chase Hooper are like brothers. They're all it's just a group of brothers. You've got the big brother in Askren. You've got the younger brother in Ch um Short O'Malley. You've got the youngest brother in um, Chase Hooper. introductions Bruce Buffer and now five rounds for the UFC middleweight championship of the world it, this man is a mixed martial artist he stands five feet seven inches tall I'm most excited and now introducing the champion fighting and when the action begins our referee are you ready are you ready Akihiro Gono Kendall Gono let's do this the people pay for the paper move. Grove coming into the octagon tonight. All right. You know, really, the number of times he's defended that title is Call now. staggering. Yeah, I don't know what the challenger is. Let's smash the fuck out of Gun. Shock the world if he managed to take the belt away from the champ. Bro, what the fuck? Hold on, let's gas him. Right, hold on, the way that. Let's drain his gas tank. I don't think he's gonna come back. I'm about to get slammed by Akihiro Gona. Fair enough. Excuse me. Bro, why is this man suddenly a god of men? A god of my men, rather. Gono is cut, and he cuts her. Uh, he cuts a lot of weight, I guess. I don't know. Oh! Holy shit! Poor Gono, he's been on the receiving end of a few flash knockouts. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. And still, the UFC middleweight title. Bro, I thought I wasn't sure who the fuck got knocked out there because we both hit each other at the same time. Um, uh, shades of Condit versus Hardy there. Yeah, let's look at it again. There was certainly bad intention. Oh, this one. I think he just missed me, but it still registered as a hit. And again, and here's the knockout blow. What a great job. He barely got me. Great angle here. Oh, out cold. Dude, yeah, Vol uh, so Volkanovski is a beast. He is, yeah. Down. I find it funny. The dude who does the weigh-in announcements for Brazil cards, 
when uh, it was Volkanovski and Aldo, he didn't, he didn't say. I mean, I know in Brazil, in Portuguese names are a little different, even you know English names are recognised. But he he didn't say like Volkanovski with a Brazilian accent. He said Volkanovinsk, not even Volkanovski, Volkanovinsk. Sounds like some Russian version. I am so lucky not to have been flash knocked out yet. Yeah. That's why I feel like Barboza for a little while maybe give would give uh, Max problems as well. Although the cardio would fade, but the leg kicks. My god, the leg kicks. Dan Ego. Which is a very difficult fight for Barbosa. Danny is legit. He's really good. I, I think he might try AKA, I'm not sure. Either way, he's a, he's a savage. Watch out for him, man. Won his last fight. <coughs> uh, he wrestles, he, he strikes, he uh, everything. Oh, who's some uh, Paul Harris? As he calls him. Did I update the thing? I don't know if I did. 22? Are we at 22? We set for the official introductions, and with that, yeah. here is Bruce Buffer. Uh, juiced up Pride Vito. Yeah, they are. They are in uh, half an hour. The prelim started in half an hour. Introducing the champion. Fighting! And when the action begins... Well, if, think about it, though. This is a good time to be injured, though, if you have to rehab. Because... Yeah, he goes under it. Because, um... Joe, Fuck me. Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight. This man comes in tonight as what can only be the Unfortunately, he won't fight in Ghana because they're teammates. Champion of all so if in Ghana's champ, then I don't know if I see that interim champ. Right now, Mike, and he has been for quite some but yeah, um, yeah, uh, not, nobody, not many people are really fighting, although now they're starting to start it up again. But still, for a while there, nobody was doing anything, so it was a great time to rehab injuries. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh man, open bad now, Mike. Throw it again, I dare you. Come on. And now he's answered. Yeah, I believe so as well. Nice right hand. I think it'd be way less reckless. Yeah, why is he doing this? Can we stop? <laughs> Pretty much. Uppercut. He's got his back. Beautiful throw. Great Greco Roman right there, Joe. Looking for the rear naked choke finish. This might be a bad idea. Maybe. He's got, oh, he's got it under the neck, Mike. He's got switched to the arm bar. Oh, nice move. Uh oh, spaghetti. -er. No. Nope. Oh, what the fuck? This is not good. Under a minute remains. Full guard here. 45 seconds remains. Pushing his opponent away. Over the top. I don't like this. Paul Harris is breathing heavy right now, Mike. Oh, 
Come on. Nice knee. You juicy cunt. Showing some pretty effective stand up striking, Joe. Yeah, they seem to have no interest in going to the ground. You're listening, can you hear me? Perfect, that's all we need. Yeah, and you're gonna start setting it. Got won't throw like he did against uh, Jarzinho. He was, uh, I believe he was deliberately reckless. Maybe he wanted to crowd the space. It, it, look, it would be difficult for Igarni to win a technical fight. He's not as technical as of a striker as Jarzinho. Not that it really matters because that power is the equalizer. We start round two. Go, this fight scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. God, Coleman. Oh, uh, guys, Mark, uh, Park Coleman. Nice leg kick. Oh, big kick. Well. Try your real kick, man. He threw it. And good right hand counter. Yeah, but I think he'll make adjustments. His cardio has almost certainly gotten better. Has to have. Wow, that right hand. He's got his back here. <laughs> oh, and that one drops. No way! Submit me. He's working the choke. Man, the cheers in here are definitely... Holy shit. Who's some other demigod? Wait up here. We got problems. Into the guard. Oh, I see you. Because he's got a, he's got a, a ton of he's got high sub offense. Yeah, we will. Hold on. He's hurt badly. He's down. That one dropped. Ho -ho! He's hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break you. I'm gonna abuse you. How's this feel, you cunt? Didn't get it on properly. Yeah. Just over a minute remains. Oh, spinning back kick. He caught the leg. He's down. I don't like the one playing that. He pushes him off with the feet. He decides to let him up. <laughs> Trying to punish the midsection. Man, throw a wheel kick. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That was a terrible fight performance. The UFC middleweight title. <laughs> that, honestly, Paul Harris should be a gimme fight, but I, I fucked that one up. Look how he throws his body into that, connects, and just puts him to sleep. Perfect technique, perfect timing, perfect execution, and a huge victory. Fucking H bomb him afterwards twice. He has no idea what just happened. I'll tell you what happened. He got knocked out. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Murgliata has called a stop to this contest. Yeah. Because I know it's easy to get up there if I do the right thing. I just got better, I think. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. It should be quick fights, man. Holy shit, my head damage. No, thank you. It's time to grapple. Uh, Robert Whitaker does as well. <coughs> Pretty fine. Grove bomb. Yeah. <coughs>
It's the bad guy. <clears throat> Man, the shot does my throat. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a valet, and now, introducing the chap, and when the action begins, Chael Sonnen. Uh, prelims, yeah. <clears throat> and here we go. Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. As the reigning champion, he enters the octagon tonight, riding high on an incredible win streak. A streak that's one of the most, if not the most impressive achievements in the history of the sport. Yeah, when you think of this guy, you think of complete and total domination. No one can find a way to beat him. Nice. No! Get off the cage, holy shit. Uh, Gabby Garcia immediately would destroy the fuck out of Yeah, it would completely annihilate Egana, of course. Oh, come on. Pick floor. Run my floor. I don't know. I got like a variety of songs. It depends. Maybe I'd pick the song depending on the career. Or the, the stage of the career, maybe. You see, as soon as he gets it, he clasps the hand on the wrist, yanks that arm up high, and puts all sorts of pressure on the... Bruce Buffer. Ditch worries me. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Merliata has called a stop to this contest <coughs> at 1 minute 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by He's been KO'd, yeah, with 9 seconds to go in the fifth round when I was losing badly and he took every single shot I ever threw at him. Well, probably because they're more focused on UFC. That's the same. The fight our team is doing UFC. And to be quite honest, I would rather we get a good UFC game before they go back to fight night. Because fight night champion is awesome. And you guys still have a great game where we we need a good one first. before they can fight. Actually, we do have a good one. This. But um, still. A nice, a good EA one. A good game on current consoles would be nice. Uh, or next gen. I'm... Uh, Jumping up to, uh, I'm just going to go till 11, so four, 20 minutes. I'm going to hope to try and get to 30, but I'm quick enough. <laughs> Hard to compare, but they're both good. I mean, hold on. Huh. No, Fight Night is good, yes. <laughs> Tale of the tape is brought They're both good as a fucking tap habitual out. response. An expression of combat no Something. <laughs> now available at tapout.com. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. There's lots of anime music and that would fit fight as well, I think. This man is a mixed martial artist. And now, introduced, and when the action begins, are you ready? Are you ready? Victor Belfort, Kendall Grove. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon ha. tonight? He's fighting with Supreme Oh my god, imagine. Unbeaten in countless straight championship fights. Yeah, he seems to be on a completely different plane from everybody else. He's facing a very strong challenger tonight. He's looking for Kimura. What are you what what you doing with your What you avoid the Kimura? He's cranking it, Mike. Oh man, that shoulder's gonna pop. Damn you. He's in full guard. He's looking for the triangle, Mike. Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out. Bro. Easy subs I'm giving away here. Nicely done. Fine, let's just destroy him. 
using the butterflies. Transition fool. Pushing his opponent away. Go on. Hit me. Just missed with the uppercut. What you got? Just missed with that one. What you got? What you got? What you got? See, yes, McKess lives on in spirit, my guy. Belfort is breathing heavy right now. And he gets the takedown. Got a hold of the body, kept driving forward. He's looking for Kimura. It doesn't look like he's got it. It looks Let's not scary. fuck this huge one up, shall we? He's got it cranked. There we go, it's over. Bang. Never listened to it. That song. Without, I mean, without that, I did walk out to Darude Sandstone, to be fair. So. What a performance! He defends the UFC middleweight title. I look. Yeah, I looked before. I, I, some someone has beaten it. I don't. I just. I, I'm sure quite a few people have beaten it, but I just. I haven't. I haven't seen anyone beating it on on YouTube or anything. Chief has beaten it with uh, Mark Coleman. Let's take a look at it. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called Before it was a meme, yeah. At three minutes, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a combo. Yeah. <laughs> and still. There you go, back to 100%. Perhaps I could run at them with a body knee to get some stamina down. I want to go for submissions, maybe. I could just do the yes with guest trap, but nah. Ah, oh, I don't know. Why wouldn't I? I mean, you have to be an idiot not to. I, of course, some people can't afford them, or, or not afford them. Some people can't get access, exactly. But the people who just don't wear masks, even though they could, or, sh yeah, yeah, or and should, uh, they're just silly. This man is a mixed mark. And now, introducing, and when the action begins, are you ready, sir? Mark Munoz. Kendall Grove. And here we go. Joe, how do you see this playing out for the champion? I guess we'll find out. Does he still have what it takes to retain his belt and keep his win streak going against another talented and very hungry contender? He's as focused as I've ever seen him, Mike. A mask is fine. As long as you have a good mask. Something like an N95 mask. That works fine. But any look, anything is better than nothing. Has just honed his skills that much more. Any, look, anything is better than nothing in a mask nice. works, especially if you have a one like an N95 mask. Inside leg kick. Yeah. Oh, uppercut, he's down! And he gets his opportunity and he jumps down, he's in the guard now. Nice. Sorry, I'm sorry, but if you don't... What the fuck?! Is nasty. Okay. If you don't wear a mask and you have the ability to get one, that's just irresponsible in my opinion. Even if it's something basic, anything, it's better than nothing.
I swear it's the same thing Bob Sapp beat Alistair Overeem with in UN. Time perfectly placed. At the very least, wear gloves and use uh, hand sanitizer. Working with the over under under here. Same, to be honest. <laughs> He's got the takedown. Hit it eventually. Well, under ninety seconds remain. Hopefully, eventually. They'll find that they'll be able to develop a vaccine. Ha! That might be the weakness. Bro, what the it fuck? Like and that's the end of round one. The crowd is on its feet. These two fighters kept it standing and they went to war, Joe. That was a beautiful display of striking skills from both guys, Mike. That round there is why we love this sport so much. So the pick won't reach it. Uh cover starts at seven, huh? So, hmm. perhaps it's a while till the fights are on. Okay, first fight is at seven, so we've got another hour. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. You ready, sir? You ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight's scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Yeah. Man. Somebody's giving give him a huge check. Let him retire. I know he loves fighting, but I know he's all fucked up as well. Got tons of injuries. Every, no, every, come on, you gotta wear some gloves. Because think about, look, think about the things that other people have touched. If you go to a shop, you don't want that on your hands. Oh, he tagged again. Oh, and that one drops him. He ate that one. He's got to huh. get out of this position. He's Johnny Walker has a chance for about 30 seconds, and if he doesn't win, John Jones would destroy him. 50-42. He did retire, but he came out of retirement sure. again. I think. One championship. Voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 53 seconds of the second round, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by TKO and still the UFC middleweight Champion of the world, Kendall the Spider Grove. Kendall Grove holds on to his UFC middleweight title. I think people are going to stop sleeping on Jones' opponents as much. But everyone seems to think they would do terrible and they're not doing terrible anymore.
next, it's a middleweight title Ooh, fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendo Grove and heavy-handed Chris the Crippler Levin. Chris Levin making his way to the octagon, ready to compete for the title. Chris uh, I, I remember his name. Out aggressive style, but he's also actually got some very technical striking skills. He's got good timing, a great chin, knockout power, and that makes it extreme. Huh. Kendall Grove set to enter the octagon. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Dodge. <laughs> and now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a free And now, introduced. And when the action begins, our referee, you ready, you ready? Chris Lieben. Kendall Grove. Let us dispatch Mr. Lieben. And wait. Joe, how do you approach saying, okay. this fight if you're the champion? We've had the best seat in the house. Let's use the flying ace strap. That's not actually. To champion to true MMA legend. Absolutely, Mike. He's put in the time and the hard work. Oh, flying knee. Well, it looked like he was going to the head. He snapped back really quick. I can shoot from the clinch, but... The crippler, Chris Lieben. He's in the guard. And he lets him back up. Well, JDS would be interesting at light heavyweight for sure. I don't think Jones. Will, I don't think he'd get TKO unless his chin was completely dumped for the wake up. But I don't know. If he's if he's lighter, then I think he could make it. Before what cutting way on me. Nice knee. Under three minutes now. Combination left right. Why is he not mixing things up nicely? Over the top. Hmm. Oh, my oh. Goodness. oh, that one staggered him. Oh, but he how can he do that when he's rocked? Smart fucker. And the crowd continues All right, chill. to rally behind the Don't gas now. Chris Lieben. Under 90 seconds remains in round. That was an accidental. We do that, but hey. Just over a minute remains. Oh, to the midsection. Come on. Finish him. Oh, he's hurt. That one dropped him. Oh. <laughs> he can't take much of this. Oh, he's in trouble, Mike. What the fuck? There you go. That's a long rock. See it one more time. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by TKO at. <laughs> I wish. I mean, come on, Habib would destroy him.
Uh, I saw a little bit. I didn't see the entire thing. I saw like a little snippet of it, I think. Oh, on Reddit. Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner. <laughs> Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. I don't like that. And now, this man is a Muay Thai. And now, introducing, and when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest <laughs> is... You ready, sir? You ready? Vanderlei Silva, Kendall Grove. And here we go. Try give us your thoughts on the champion. This crowd is... Uh, yeah, it's on simulation. Yeah. Championship title defenses. He's well, Eddie is a jiu-jitsu coach. You can't really say much about the strike. The UFC has ever seen. I absolutely agree with that, Mike. This guy is becoming bigger than the sport itself. Finding that range. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, what's up, Ivan? How you get, how you get on, man? Oh, they're exchanging here. Nice right hand. Of course. Gets a takedown. He's working the rubber guard. Huh. Hold on. Now, nah, I watched them downstairs, bro. I sent you a message on Discord. I watched them downstairs, and I'm not bringing the mic down all the way. He's got half guard. Full guard. No, he starts in an hour. They're just starting the coverage now. Joe, let's see what he tries to do from here. Rubber guard. Looking for a normal plot to Mike. Switch to the arm bar. Oh, nice move. That is a tight, tight arm bar. Shame. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Full mount. Uh, yeah, the coverage starts at the Butter six, but guard. the actual fights don't start until an hour. His opponent away. Oh, he lets him up. Two minutes so, two like an hour of ads, basically. Both guys staying in tight. Who is that? I feel like I should know. Oh! Oh, oh my oh, god. Right he because he wanted to get paid, I imagine. He got tagged there, but it looks like he's recovered. All right. Just over a minute remains. <laughs> he's hurt badly, he's down. Oh! This fight is close to being over. Oh! No, that's it. There you go. <laughs> Who is Uncle Al? Victory. Uncle Albert from Money Falls? Yeah, I know him. Uncle Al from MMA? No. What a performance. He defends the UFC middleweight title. Well, if he needed to get paid, he needed to get paid, you know? That was a great fight, yeah. And with our official with, uh, decision, Toby. here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest. Oh, Kendall Grove has a lot of things that wouldn't have happened in real life today. Of the very first round, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by TKO.
it's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Science, the official energy drink of the UFC. Now, I swear Rogan did some commentary before UFC 35 a little bit, but maybe he took some time off for the factor. This man is a Muay Thai, and you and now. Introducing, and when the action begins, a rep you ready, sir? You ready? Jorge Rivera, Kendall Grove. Round one is Fight. underway. Joe, how do you see this playing out for the champion? After being the middleweight okay. champion for so long, you have to wonder what keeps him motivated. Since he came to the UFC, he's worked towards being the best in the world, and he hasn't slowed down since he's done that. He's just one of those guys who is always driving to be better. If he loses the belt, it'll definitely not be from a lack of motivation. Oh, beautiful go. takedown. Oh, he's mounted him. Oh, to the midsection. Ha. <laughs> he ate that one. Rivera is Holy shit. Is fatigued here. And of course, I run out of gas. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Come down with a good one. Watch where you grab your leg. He's got the back mount here. Both hooks in. Oh! Huge left. Oh, he's hurt! Finish it. He got blasted, but it looks like he's Yikes. pretty quickly. Hold on. He's got half guard. Now able to posture up. Oh, big shots for the Don't top. throw that. Oh, he is in trouble. Oh, he recovers. Okay. Half guard. He's got double butterfly. Watch him go for the fucking triangle. Pushing his opponent away. Rivera is bleeding bad here. This does not look good. Come on, he's got to be done. Oh, he's hurt! That one dropped him. Boom! He's gonna finish the fight right here. And there you go. They are the fight. Okay, twenty-nine. That was a good defense. Fuck it out. Two hundred ninety-six. I wish. What a performance! He defends the UFC middleweight title. Can we see it one more time? Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 54 seconds of the very first round. <laughs> declaring La Gagnon and the winner by TKO and... Yeah, I saw, yeah. A lot of people say to do that. Oh, sorry. Our 
tale of the tape is brought to you by tap out an expression yeah gonna get 30 out of the way and it's morello of course it is available at tapout.com once again with our official introductions oh. to this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon bruce buffer and now this man is a brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter and now introduced and when the action begins our referee in charge is Murillo Bustamante, Kendall Grove, and here we go. I think his father's in a coma. Joe, I hope he can recover. I hope he recovers. Yeah, I hope he can recover. I thought a lot of people go into comas and they don't come out of it. I really hope he does. I hope everyone that's in a coma comes out of it, of course. It's been pretty surreal following his career and having the honor of calling his fights. It's going to be a while before we see another competitor in MMA of his caliber. Oh, that could be it. Oh, head kick. Well, it looked like he was hurt, but he snapped back really quick. Oh, ducking in and counters that nicely. We can be him. Nice inside leg kick. Ah. Nice counter. Come on, now. Let's be careful. Oh, big overhand right. Oh, nice counter left hook. There we go. Keep landing that right. Beautiful. There's a lot of output for Kendall. I'm worried I'm going to run out of gas. We're doing all right there. Nice Beautiful. He's down. He ate that one. He's getting jacked here. He's in big trouble. Oh, but he recovers. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Ah. Pushed it. He caught the leg. Oh, and again. Beautiful. Well done, Murillo. Wow. He's not an idiot, I'll give him that. But unfortunately, it ain't going to save him. And still. Yeah, that does ring slightly ring about, but I could be thinking of something else that they thought. I love me some Buster Monte, though. What a performance! He defends the UFC middleweight title. Here we see it one more time. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes twenty-six seconds. Of the very first round, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by TKO and still the UFC middleweight champion of the world, Kendall the Spider. I can't spell the spider. No, no. No. I was going to, but I'm just going to keep going until the fights come on. Sorry. Sorry, I was reading the thread, so. Since it takes so long to load, I figured I might as well. I was reading material while I wait, you know. Next, it's 
a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fight. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC middle. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California. And now, introducing the... Uh, well, I, that would be a spoiler, so I'll wait for you to... Honestly, try and go through it without spoiling it if you can. It's an awesome experience. I'll probably say the DLC bosses though. Kendall Grove. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the Octagon tonight? This kind of high pressure. Time to employ fly and strategy, I think. Business as usual for him. Yeah, he's faced more number one contenders than probably any other fighter who's ever walked the planet. And tonight, his opponent is definitely one of the best. But everybody's an underdog against this guy. Hmm, yeah. Definitely be Ludwig. Oh, that's a spoiler. Whoops. Oh, flying knee. Still, yeah. He got tagged there, but it looks like he's I guess, trying to finish it. I don't want to finish it, I just want to knock him down. One sec. Okay. See if we can. Oh, head kick. There you go, dude. That was coming. There we go. Okay, gotta be quicker. Quick hands. Nice, that jab could be useful, you know. It's gonna be careful like I get caught by something. Oh, big shot. There you go. He's down. He ate that one. Looking to finish his fight. Oh, he's dropping back for a heel hook. Man, this crowd is low. We can finish this, it'll be awesome. He's cranking on that heel hook. There you go. Bang. What a performance! He defends the UFC middleweight title. It it really depends. Everyone has their own experiences with blood ball bosses. Like I find, I might find one boss really difficult, but someone else might find it easy. Depends on your playstyle. It's kind of hard to to say, really. The better voice of the octagon. It really is. It's different for everyone. Has the official decision. I don't think you can definitively say which one is the hardest because they're already difficult. But everyone struggles more with a certain boss and another boss than someone else might. Father Gascon, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, his head was beat up. No, they're not. They're not extra bosses, but they don't come back. And also, having him fall off is fine. Our tale of the day is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now, with our 
official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Chao Pei. And now, this man is about, and now, introduce, and when the action begins, are, are you ready to fight? Chao Sonnen, Kendall Grove. Okay. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? What can we say about this oh. man that has an God, I dare you. Yeah, his title reign has been unbelievable, Mike. He's defended that belt so many times against so many top fighters. Watch gotcha. There's never been a more dominant competitor. I don't have it, but if I had it, I'd probably give it a go. He shoots. See if I can get him down. Yeah. Got a hold of the uh, no. Forward. Not yet. I probably will one day, though. Ugh. Dude, the way they instinctively know it, it's kind of annoying. Here. Yeah, I've heard it's awesome. Dude, he looked fucking aggressive for a second there. Okay. Good combination. And another left hand. I don't have Diablo now. Not really a strategy guy. Okay, come on. Let's not be dumb with Chow now. It's pretty much fully ultimate, so we've got to be careful. Two minutes remains in round number one. There you go. Knee landed heavy. What an exchange here. Under ninety seconds remains around one. What the hell? Again, the overhand right. Just over a minute remains. Ah, just missed. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Okay, come on now. Let's be careful. Counters that nicely. What am I doing? Good combination. Oh, spinning back kick. He's got his back. Countering and scoring. Big Dude, I need to just go with one. That's a mess of a round. Fighters seem determined to keep this fight standing. And the crowd here seems to appreciate a good striking match, Mike. Fire on. You own him when you spin him. You understand? When you angle off, come back right away. You got it? Angle off, come back. Ugh. If you're going to go. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. Here is that counter strike. When you're throwing your punches and he's catching them, he's out wide. You can come up with. Are the you ready to fight? Are you ready? We have to destroy him. I don't we mind BR games. I wasn't very good at Fortnite. I wasn't a huge fan of the building aspect. But I'm, it's, yeah, I love it. I like it. It was a personal thing. Oh, you lucky fucker! Flag guard. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, Come on now. Let's not be silly. Let's win. Oh, nice knee. Taking wow. too much damage perfectly here. Time, perfectly placed. There you go. Let's go for it. I like uh, Warzone. Yeah. He's got his back here. Big knee. Here. Oh, flying knee. Fuck it. Oh, that one dropped. Blimey, all right. Oh, he got blocked, but man, he snapped back quick. The crowd rallying behind Chael Sonnen. He decides to let him up. See if I can. Nice combination. Come on, come on, flying me, flying me. Good body 
nice shot. Okay, fine. 90 seconds remains in the second. Yeah. Man, they're pummeling back and forth. It's hard to see who has the edge here. Ah. Under a minute remains. And again. Oh my god. Absolutely vicious. Wow. Joe really look, mixing it up. I love how he's changing Fucking hell. We will cover quick. Not like that. One bit. What the fuck, man? What am I doing? What's up, Barry? Both fighters showing some pretty effective stand -up I'm striking way too much. I'm yeah, no striking, but I'm not. Cheo's an asshole with this, anyway. Uh, Vitor. Pride Vitor. Roided Vitor. So you've got to stay on that. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Looks like it's about to be chair in a minute as well, if I'm not and careful. We are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five Okay, let me go for that one. Five minute rounds. Sonnen is bleeding here, Mike. Oh! Vicious knee! Oh, he recovers! What nice the play. fuck? Got the butterflies huh. in. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. There you go. <laughs> that is striking the chair, huh? We'll be back in a minute here. See it again, Mike. Just flying knee to the jaw. No question about it. They did, yeah. Medical exemptions. Oh, here we oh, see it again. Use it's an incredible amount of torque he puts into that. Exemption. Oh. Back in a minute. Look at this. Twist the head around. His eyes roll back into his head. The lights go out. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC middleweight champion of the world, Kendall the Spider. Holds on to his UFC middleweight title. I don't like how damaged my head was, to be quite honest. Well, 78, and the highest I've had was 82.
up next, it's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter. Okay. Yeah, I, we need to finish these guys quick. Let's get them to the ground. Our tale of the day is brought to you by Boost Mobile. I'm fucking around. I want to get to 40 in half an hour. Come on, we can do that. And with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a kickbox. And now, introduce. And when the action begins, yes, but I recover quite a bit of stamina Kendall anyway. So, Kendall Grove. Uh, at this point, anyway. And we are underway. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the Octagon tonight? You know, really, cool. the number of times he's defended and the trip nicely nice. done. How quick was that? Pushing his opponent uh, okay. away. He decides to let him up over the top. Beautiful hook. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, fuck striker with Chuck. That's exactly why. Liddell's cut here, Mike. That one dropped him. He's hurt. He's hurt. I wish. As long as he doesn't slap me. Okay. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Using the butterflies. Go on. Oh, he's trying to start up, man. All right, come on! Don't panic! Don't panic! Flying knee strike! Come on! Well over two minutes remains in round number one. All the guys that beat me throw spinning back kicks. There we go. Wow! Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. They are exchanging here, Mike. Two minutes remains in round number one. Spinning back kick. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Oh. Dives into the full guard. Oh, damn it. Feet. He lets him up. Wow, okay. How can you fuck that up? Oh, but he ate a left hand. Okay. Don't like how much damage I've taken. Oh, big kick. See if I can get him down here. Oh shit. He gets mounted. Oh, the double underhook didn't work that time. 30 seconds remains in the round. Bro, fucking flying knee, you dumb cunt. Oh, you fucking mum. Hippo. Oh, body shot. Our round is in the books. Joe, both fighters seem determined to keep this fight standing. And the crowd here seems to appreciate a good striking match, Mike. You're listening. Can you hear me? Perfect. That's all we need. Yeah. Let's take a look at the replay from the... All right. All right. Ready to go. Ready to go. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? We start round two. Come on, this fight scheduled for five. five oh shit! Sorry, I wasn't looking. Oh, hold on. Ha <laughs> ha! I was not looking. Come on, let's get let's fucking get into this now. I just got to be patient. I'm not being patient enough. I'm also, I think I need to start throwing lead knees. Damn you, Chuck. Oh, nice 
Your head is ridiculous. Come on. There we go. I heard about it at least. Out of the way, Chuck. Ninety seconds remains in the second. Oh, vicious knee. Oh, that one dropped him. Let's finish it. There you go. Fuck it out. He defends the UFC middleweight title. That took some time. I took way too much damage. It's Chuck, though. It's just Ricky. Can we see it one more time? And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean oh, is going to this contest at 3 minutes, 49 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO. Uh, Thought I hurt my head was. Eh, we're all right. Could be worse. We still get a ton of health back. Yeah. They were characters. They were literally characters. Still a lot of style. Who's next? Coming up next, it's Mr. Mark Wall, okay. Fight between Ultimate Fighter winner, Kendall Grove, and... Let's win this one quick. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by UFC Store. Full Mount the Smash, please. Lives here. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now... Five rounds for the UFC middleweight champ. This man is a mixed martial artist. And now, introduce it. And when the action begins, are, are you ready to fight? Nate Marquardt, Kendall Grove. That's what I've got to do. And here we go. Come Joe, on, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove? I'll go straight for the takedown. This man comes in tonight as what can only be described as the most dominant champion. Surprise, like, got that. He's definitely the undisputed ruler of the octagon right now, Mike, and he has been for quite some time. God damn you. And nicely done. Oh, trips nice, trip to half guard. Butterfly guard. There we go. Goes right into side control. Into half guard. There we go. Back to side control. Half guard. You like God the damn it. Guard? Yes. If, if you're good at it, it's an excellent technique. It's not an easy master, hell, man? though. There we go. Side control again. Half guard. He's got double. Oh, come on. I was reversing that. He's got half guard. Pressure. Pressure. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. Side control. Nicely done. Okay, side control is that. Very nice. Moved into the butterfly guard. Pushing his opponent away. And he lets him back up. 
Okay, this works. He's not more willing to strike at him. Oh, we got to rock him soon. There you go. Chuck him over the top, but we won't let him. Hold on. Oh, yeah, the uppercut. I should be careful. Fuck! Just about one minute remains in the first round. Body shot. Nice right hand. Looping hook there. Both guys staying in tight. Just okay. Him. Oh, big overhand right. Beautiful. Oh, nice I like that combination. Damn you. Thought I would have had him with a flying knee. But... Display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. I suppose these do take longer. <laughs> Can't be rushed in now. I need you to circle left. Let's see. One quick thing when you go jail, bro. Are back. you ready to fight? Are you ready? We start round two. On, this go. fight scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Oh, ducking in and okay. counters that nicely. Let's try again. There you Man, go. That knee landed heavy. A nice inside leg kick. Oh my god, terrible idea. I got so lucky. Wow, that right hand. Oh, flying knee. He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. Fair enough. There you go. <laughs> Thirty-four. He defends the UFC. Here. Who's next? Bruce Buffer has the official decision. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb didn't take too much damage. So this contest at one minute seven seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC. Very okay, very nice, hundred percent. I'm going to say, let me guess, GSP. Oh, no, it's all about you. Alan Belcher. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. This man is a freestyle. And now, 
introduced. And when the action begins, our referee. Are you ready to fight? Alan Belcher, Kendall Grove. <laughs> Round oh, one is on, underway. Joe, how oh, do you approach okay. this fight if you're the champion? There you go. That's what you gotta do, Kendall, you see? Double Let's go two was like a double jump. An but yeah. A streak that's one of the most, if not the most impressive achievement. I don't know, probably maybe. Yeah, when you think of this guy, you think of complete. You got a ton of shot points. There's gate no on one which is find a way to beat him. Interesting. Perhaps you unlock some of the secret nicknames. Although I thought you can buy them through the shop. Nice counter right hand. Both guys staying in tight. They are, yeah. Oh, nice knee. EA MMA is awesome. Perfect Except the, the ground, the grappling is pretty meh. The Inside choke subs are good kick. though. Looks like Belcher's cut here. Although yeah, the AI is insanely good at them. What an exchange here. Okay. Fine. He's down. Oh, he's going arm for an arm bar. Arm. Joe, this place is going wild. That is a tight, tight arm bar. There's no way he's going to get out of that. Yeah, you. I was gonna. I was gonna say. Submission victory. Great arm bar. Okay. Thirteen minutes. What a performance! He defends the UFC that? middleweight title. Textbook jiu-jitsu. Yeah. I'm quick. I can get a few. I can bang a few out. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. Well, cut up already. Thirty-seven seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by tap out due to an on bar and Oh uh, yeah yeah he came back to life. That is a known glitch. That was wild. He he, he peed me as well. <laughs> I got knocked out in typical Chuck fashion. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, ugh. I think I might have heard something about that before, but this wild. Man. I'll never forget when I fucking had the request on I put this guy. Basically, I smashed the. I mean, I beat him, but it, the guy took like 14 extra punches while he was dead. Good old ref. Wasn't Big John, you see, that's why. Uh, depends how you want to play. But more fun than two on the feet? Yeah. More fun than three? Yes, more fun. Better? Striking wise, I think so, in terms of the way it feels. In terms of like, it feels more realistic in terms of the way strikes can, you know. Yeah, you know, there are flash knockouts and all that, flash rocks. Yeah, I think it is. More fun. And here we go. Technically, I guess mechanically it's not as good, but still. He's fighting with supreme confidence, unbeaten in countless straight championship fights. Yeah, he seems to be on a completely different I will just want to get round on it out here quick, to be honest. That'd be fun. Well, it was essentially K1 anyway. It was kickboxing in a cage. The ground game wasn't very good. I love the impact sounds on this guy. Wow, that's bullshit. Not very good. It's extremely basic. You can deny with your hang with your 
with your um with your eyes closed. You just need to feel the vibration. You just push the stick any uh, you hold the left stick left or right. And the only way to transition really against any decent player or the AI is if they're completely out of stamina. Close range here, Joe. It's trash to be quite honest, the ground game. If you put if you were putting mount in um in volley judo matches you would just quit because there's no way out against a decent player. Okay. Oh, fuck it now. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. Okay. Uh, the striking is is okay. The grappling, control-wise, is pretty much the same, but they ruined it with the auto block. Otherwise, it would have been pretty damn good. Having said that, the submissions are a bit weird. And the crowd continues to rally behind Vanderlei Silva. That cut on Silva is really opened up now. Side control again. God damn. Half guard. Yeah, there is. Tons of it. What is this half side control business? Three quarter mount, ladies and gentlemen. You have to speak three. You have to see speak three innovating again. In the round. Oh, looping hook there. There you go. I'm going to have to try it. Yeah, I love it. It is awesome, yeah. Moro is great. <laughs> Here we see it again, Mike. Just flying knee to the... The better voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee... Well, we can Mario get 37, Yamazaki I think. Has has called called the start to this contest at four minutes... Hope you guys enjoy the fights. If you would like to join the Discord, it is in the description, and we do chat about the fights in the live thread, which is the spoilery live thread. You'll know it's got a lot of safer work warning there, so. Wonder who we will get. Coming up next, it's a middle of the Yeah, there are female fighters on the game as well. First ever made game to have female fighters. I think Karano and Phyllis Herrig were. This man is a mixed martial mm -hmm. and now introduce it and when the action begins Paulo Fila, Kendall Grove and here we go. go Joe how do you see this playing out for the champion okay. I guess we'll find out oh flying knee oh but he got rocked but man he snapped that uh, no. side control what and the fuck how is Paulo this good I don't blame you, man. That's a game lets you do it anyway. Create whoever you want. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. Pushing his opponent away. 
Oh, we got tagged. Oh, but he recovers. Okay, now. He can take a beating. Oh, he got hurt. Jesus Christ, Paolo. They might have to stop this one. Fucking hell. He's going to go for a submission. Watch with the triangle. Watch with the triangle. Side control. He ate that one. He's got half guard. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. He lets him up. Ooh. Push kick. Both guys staying in It's tight. over. Give up, Paula. Uh oh. And still. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it there for the night. For defenses, that's not too bad. Plus eight that we have. I like it there. Uh oh. There you go. Here we see it again, Mike. All right. I'm going to call it there for the night. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the fights. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back tomorrow with more. We're going to beat it. We're going to beat it. Let's see our health here real quick. Sweet. We're all good. Well, we'll see, but I'm going to head off for tonight. So I'll keep that on the papyrus. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Stay safe and take care.